Hey there, fellows. Okay, so in today's video, we are doing something quite interesting. Now, you might recall how we made this... that vegetable thrower. It was so much fun to use it to fling potatoes. Anyway, so I have me all of this glass, and I've got the corresponding car. I'm sure you'll recognize it when you see it. We've had it from the very beginning. And it's not even a lot of So we've got a bunch of glass, and I want to try making glass that would withstand getting hit with a potato, an orange and a billiard ball. After all, a billiard ball is made out of a fairly durable material. Glass is unable to stay intact when hit by one of those. So basically, the idea is to make a sort of DIY armored glass. Now it's just a matter of figuring this all out. I mean, we do need to understand how it can be done. Okay, so let's take some stock glass and turn it into something that can take a good beating. Our end goal is going to be to... I mean, okay, we'll be cool if the glass shatters, but we don't want the ball to go through it and wind up inside the cabin. Let's try making us some homemade bulletproof glass then. Let's do this. We make DIY armored glass for a car. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So at the end of the day, there are people who do this professionally, and we've come to pay a visit to just such folks. They make regular glass and the bulletproof variety as well. And so here's what we've done. We've taken some side window glass for a Mercedes, stacked it and brought it here. Now it's time for some show and tell. Hi, my name is Konstantin. Vlad. And I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen how it's done. I know I haven't, so let's have a look. The first thing you need to do is clean the glass. Using a generic product for cleaning glass at home. We do this one and the other pane. After that, we... Apply some alcohol that contains a special hardening additive. Oh, I thought that was to remove residue. No, that's not the point. And you're supposed to use medical grade alcohol. You can't use methanol. I see. Next step, we take a bit of string. That looks like a bicycle brake cable. We toss it on. Now we take some clips, small ones, and now we wrap the string on. Okay, so you slip it under the edges for there to be a gap. Yeah, to be able to pour the material in. Now we clamp it all down with the clips. After assembly, we begin filling. We are using a polymer. A special polymer, yeah? Yeah, in liquid form. So at first you have... You see those tiny bubbles? Give it a couple of knocks and there you are. You can adjust the flow any way you like.
And that's it. Now we put it under an ultraviolet lamp. I take it that's to cure it. Yeah. Check it out, guys. The glass is ready. And now we're gonna go fit it to a car. But we also... want to try gluing three panes together. Do a makeshift job, you know? Like we usually do. Then we'll see which is more durable, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. It looks... You can definitely tell that he does this for a living. Because if it were us, I think that simply filling the glass would have taken us at least an hour and a half. But this guy did it in 15 minutes. Now it's gonna dry, and it's the same method for the other layers, right? So they're gonna finish making a big stack for us. We'll grab it and continue with the experimentation. Now let's do this. Okay, fellas, we've got everything set up. There's the car I told you about. And it has currently got the standard glass in it. The factory single pane. Okay, we'll start by... loading up this... What is this, a tangerine or an orange? Anyway, let's see if the single pane glass can hold up. Oh, wow, holy cow! Look at how it got pulverized! Let me try another one. Reloading. And let's go. So after two shots, we've established that we need to up the firepower. <laughs> Nothing left but starch. <laughs> Holy cow, man. I do recall that last time the potato went right through the lotto window. But it ain't taking the Mercedes pain. I guess we need to keep trying. All right. Are we ready? The thing literally takes a hop. The stream of air is so strong that it makes it move. Let her rip. <laughs> wow, the way it disintegrates when it hits the glass. Something as hard as a billiard ball has to... smash the glass at the very least. But with how fast this is going to be flying, I'd imagine it'd go all the way through. We did have to wrap the ball. That's to keep it from rolling down the pipe. Here we go. Yum. Well, obviously, against vegetables it'll hold its own. But a billiard ball is just too much. And now it's in the cabin. Okay, I suggest we get the glass that we made, which is three panes glued together, install it, and if it can stay intact when hit by the ball, then these two weeks of work wouldn't have been in vain. Okay, time to install and test it. Okay, so check this out. We've got our makeshift glass in there. It's in there nice and tight. There shouldn't be any sort of vibration. It's sitting within its frame. Did you find the ball? Is it beat up? Not really? Okay. It's seen some mileage, so let's continue using it. Here we go. Well, they're hanging in there. Not disintegrating yet. Not the worst result. This is the one we made. Now let's install the one that we had made by those dudes who make bulletproof glass professionally. 
Then we'll install a slightly smaller three-layer piece and shoot it with the ball. Let's do this. Will you look at that? Oh my, now that's a proper result. The glass... Yeah, it does feel a bit soft. That's because the entire surface of the glass is covered with cracks. What's interesting here is that it didn't find its way inside. It's still outside. Now, I'm fairly sure that it doesn't look all that bad from the inside. Yeah, well... It certainly has shattered, but the shards are all... They're up here. They're stuck to the polymer that was used to glue the two panes. Good stuff. Okay, so it didn't go through the first time around, so let's try that again. Wow, now those are some seriously positive results. And it landed right next to this spot. And the ball is still outside. Let's try it a third time. <laughs> this is our third attempt, and yeah, the glass has been slightly breached. I do see a few tiny holes, but in any case, even after three hits, it's still intact. Let her rip. Okay, now it seems that the ball is inside. The professional-grade glass made by the professionals does a professional job. It took a good four hits for the billiard ball to actually go through all of the panes and make it inside. And I think that really says a lot. Okay, so now we're going to try fitting a five-pane window and continue with the experimentation. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, we've got everything on there. Now, the frame isn't factory quality by any means, but the glass is secure. It's not going to be vibrating or anything. It's up against the factory seal. So that's all good. As usual, we're... wrapping the ball to make it a tighter fit. Oh, wow, holy cow! What business does it have on the roof? <laughs> what are we looking at? The ball is toast? What happened to it? Oh my goodness. Isn't that something? Look at that. We've smashed the ball. Now let's have a look inside. Interesting to see what's going on in there. All five panes have been shattered into little tiny bits. I can still hear them crunching. Hey, what matters is they're intact. Some shards have made it inside, but it's nothing serious. Not as bad as the first time. Excellent. Excellent. 
very good indeed. We need to do that again. One more time. Our third attempt. It looks about the same. We are hitting about the same spot. That was the fourth round. And the glass is still intact. Time to reload. Let's do this. It's landing close every time, but it's not going through. Here we go, number 10. Nothing. It's not even getting softer. Man, look at that. Okay, so here's where we're at with this. We've... Shot the ball at this 12 times at this point, and you'll notice that inside it's starting to slowly give in. The glass is beginning to peel, but for some reason it's only the inner layer. I mean, this is all polymer. And it's what's keeping it all together. 13 will be the charm. <laughs> Fourteen. Let's go. Fifteen times and it's all just the same. Will you look at that? It is really caving in at the edge there. Where to go? Inside? Didn't it ricochet? You can close it. It didn't ricochet? I could have sworn I saw it ricochet. Let's have a look. Hooray, it is inside. Here it is. We had to launch it 17 times for it to finally be able to make it inside. You can clearly see the layers of the polymer, now that the ball has finally gone all the way through. The layers really aren't that thick, but they're not thin either. We were told that they're about a millimeter each. They can really take a pounding. Well, guys, if any of you are worried about getting into a situation where, and I've been there, I've had huge rocks hit the windshield, and it wasn't fun at all, it was very unpleasant. Now, of course, you've got protective films, but this sort of thing, I think, is a much better option. But you're not gonna make it yourself. You're gonna have to seek help from people who do this for a living. And these are the results. We've tried it out, you saw it all for yourselves. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.